Hello everyone, this is Sunny. This video is about the review of a shattered coffee grinder that I got from Amazon. So if you guys know me, I love coffee. And last Thanksgiving, I got the Keurig K-Cafe, which um, milks, has a milk frother as well. So you can have um, like homemade lattes, espresso drinks, and so on and so forth. Then I was using, so I started with using uh, K-Pods, like the coffee pods. And then over time, I thought it was uh, way better for myself and for the environment to use uh, ground coffee. So I got the reusable filter cup and then I, um, I started buying the ground coffee that I like the flavors of. Then I realized that over like hearing from people and doing some research that what better than grinding coffee yourself? And it definitely made a difference. So you get your beans from the market, from the roasters, um, anywhere you can get it fresh. And then you grind the beans, you get the ground coffee and then you use that ground coffee for making, um, for using the refilter cup. So now, reusable cup. Um, I was looking at the grinders, I started with looking, should I get a manual one, should I get a simple blade one? Well, I found out that the buzz cuts, as in the buzz uh, grinders are the best, and uh, they went from everywhere from 29 to like 500 bucks <laughs> on different websites. I ended up buying this one from Shader from Amazon, it was 49 bucks and $39 if you are a Prime member. Seemed a pretty good deal. Thought of giving it a try. And um, this is my video of how to use it and how I would recommend it or not. Uh, just to comment before we go right into it is the quality. I think in general, I think I would continue to do coffee grinding at home. The pros are the coffee definitely is smoother. So it definitely, uh, you can tell that the free, but the when the beans are fresh for the first two weeks, it is definitely a much smoother coffee than you get. The beans get old, well, this, uh, the difference slowly goes down. That's one, the benefit. Second, uh, it's an additional coffee accessory. So if you're like a coffee fan, of course, this should be on the top of your list of like, oh, I have a grinder, I have a coffee machine or some French press or whatever you do. Definitely use the best you can and do the best you can, right, to get it. Uh, the best you wish. The third pro is it does give some aroma when it's grounded, so you can definitely do that and you can support local businesses, you can use local roasters, beans, and so on and so forth. Cons, I would say, um, is um, A, the ground coffee, the packaged ground coffee that is available in the markets have a lot more flavored. They're artificial flavored also, a lot of them, like you have maple flavor, you have pumpkin flavor, you have like chocolate flavor, you have so many flavors. In beans, you're limited to what? roasters you could get around you or if you get it shipped then also it's pretty um, limited in the selection that you can have available. Second cost, uh, I'm doing my cost analysis right now by the use by the cup as you know I always do but I think um, this would be also very very cheap but if you want to be very by the number I think uh, packaged ground coffee will win because you could get a better deal and you don't have to keep it fresh. That would be it. Um, and let's get into the review. So this is a quick review of the Shatter coffee grinder that I got from Amazon. I think you call it Shatter. I don't know. But anyway, this is a cute little coffee grinder which can sit on your um, little kitchen top and without taking enough space does the job. Just does the job. So. This is a little hopper where you can store the beans for um, grinding. I like it because it also looks nice because you can see the beans outside uh, and it's transparent. So you can see the level and you can like have the feeling of seeing the beans. This is a setting for how many cups do you want, right? So how many cups worth of uh, grinding should it get done? This is a setting for how um, you want it ground. So it goes from French press to drip coffee to espresso. So it decides the size of the ground. So, and this is the hopper where eventually, uh, the container where the finally ground coffee gets in. As you can tell, it's a little bit used, but here we go. So we have some coffee beans here. So to start using it, of course, we'll plug it first and then we'll just uh, lift the lid. Uh, now coffee beans, it works when it's fresh. It, uh, the coffee tastes great for the first couple of weeks after you get it, the, the beans fresh. So I would suggest uh, getting a fresh set of beans. And um, like me, if you're by yourself, then if you like slowly use the beans, then store it in a cool, dark place. 
Now, the pouring is fun. Pouring itself is fun. I wanted to pause to not talk while I'd be with pouring. So the act of pouring beans is also fun. Just look at it. I like to not fill it to the top because as I said, beans should ideally be stored in a cool, um, dark place. And because uh, this sits on the kitchen counter, which is in the sunlight all day, what I would do is um, fill it just enough for a couple days and keep the beans back where um, somewhere where there's not enough light. Now all you have to do is close the lid, right? It's already plugged in, it auto shuts off, so you don't have to worry about anything after using. So I'm just making for myself, I'll just make um, two cups, so that's two cups in setting. And here I would say drip coffee. I've made espresso kind, uh, it is very fine, depends on how fine do you want. I'll go a little bit towards that. And all you have to do is press the button. That's it. All you do is pull it out, clean it a little bit afterwards, of course. Uh, so the first time I did, it kind of spread it all across, and I realized that you have to put the lid on. I first realized <laughs> after that first use. But here's the ground coffee. It is um, as good as it can be. It again depends on the quality of beans and the freshness of beans, but that's how it's done. And you use this, and I have a cute cake cafe, so you can use it there. But it's uh, very cute. It's very light. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I can look at the beans. All you have to do is plug it in, uh, push a button, and it goes right here. So, awesome. I will definitely recommend it.